you know when you're just running so ridiculously late it's like not even true yeah that's me right I'm gonna head off I will see you in a minute I have now reconfigured the interior of the car that's right folks it's time to go get a Christmas tree and in more good news the sun is out which means The back window's open a crack. And yesterday, Soph said that her window was open when it shouldn't have been. You know what I think's happened? I think I lent on the controls yesterday and we just didn't notice the whole way back that that window was, didn't seem to affect range much. But then it wasn't actually that cold. Anyway, let's um, get that closed. Doesn't seem like the interior of the car is in. Mm, does feel a bit damp, you know. Don't. Let's get a Christmas tree. This looks like the place. For the fire alarm. I can't seem to find any of the lithium batteries. They were brilliant. Lithium button cells. The bearings on my skateboard. And car washer fluid. Yeah, you're getting your exercise today, <laughs> eh? Yeah. Slotter in. Hey. Fantastic. Well, I like it when that happens. Nice long car. Very helpful. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Right, one thing I need to just quickly do before I head home and get told off by Soph by sp for spending too much on a Christmas tree is I need to quickly just take a little bit of power out of this board because I thought I was going to be using it the weekend and it turns out no. Along with the drone it's got a fully charged battery and I don't want it to sit that way for any length of time. It's a little bit of basic battery care. One of the problems with winter time is it can be an enormous pain in the arse actually finding a, a dry day with which to take a little bit of power out of a board. Or a drone for that matter. So you've got to take your opportunities. And then it takes a few minutes, just take a couple of percent off, it will make a difference. Not a massive difference, but a difference. I reckon those couple of hundred meters took about 2% off the battery charge, but the take of a few minutes and you know what they say every little help it's actually going to be talking a little bit today about energy storage got a few little things I need to do first however because at the moment we've got a tree and nowhere to put it so I need to get the base find the base the question is where aha there it is. Yeah. Could do with a clean, really. And I want to get a box as well to put the thing on. I think I know where I can find one of those. I need to be quite a strong box. I was reading the BBC News website the other day and I was reading an interesting article about their cold thermal storage system, a sort of five megawatt system. Now, they didn't actually seem to ever say megawatt hours. So it's difficult to know exactly how much power this thing actually stored. But it's a good idea. Basically, you chill normal air down to, I don't know, is it like minus 190 degrees Celsius, 170, something like that, until it liquefies and then you store it in a tank and when you want to get that energy back out what you do is you let the air warm up to ambient temperature it increases in volume 170 times and drives a turbine obviously the process is a bit more complicated than that and it's one of those things that is very much dependent on the scale at which you try and do it Again, I think it could do with a bit of a clean. Yeah, hopefully this box will be up to the challenge of supporting the weight of our Christmas tree. What would Christmas be without a Christmas tree? So in terms of this energy storage system, what I'm particularly interested in is, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you can't use renewables. You can't use lots of renewable energy to power a country because you require storage. And I think they're right. 
you do require storage. I think the reason why that storage doesn't exist is because at the moment we just pump oil out the ground and burn it and we're all so used to doing that with fossil fuels and there isn't the need to invest in the storage side and that's why I think if the government or government actually took a bit of a stand then the storage technology would quickly catch up because cryogenic energy storage, cold energy storage, is something that it's just one of many many different kinds of large-scale power storage mechanisms out there and the vast majority of them all require one thing above all else and that is investment and the investment will never come provided there is a cheaper alternative actually it's more expensive to begin with because that storage doesn't already exist however a little bit down the line when we've built lots of them and it's all nice and streamlined as a process and when you've actually got the renewables generating the energy and you no longer need to dig up coal and oil and gas then what you find is it's actually cheaper a lot cheaper we just need to get there okay so that's that's where i stand with it you know obviously i like my solar panels i've got some energy storage in there as well it's a very small system but it, it demonstrates that you can get useful power out of renewable energy even when you're talking about the very small scale and it works perfectly well on the very large scale too it's just we just need to basically just take a leap you know nobody ever learned to swim by sitting on the side thinking it would be nice to swim you actually have to get in there and do it which is something that we can do but it is also something that requires a bit of political leadership. Something which is woefully lacking in the world these days. Are you a bit excited, Jasper? I think that's pretty good. Okay, hopefully I'm in focus. I've got it in manual again. <laughs> because that way you don't get that annoying noise in the background, which is kind of important in here because it's quite quiet. So I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, remember to like it and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye. So I'm just a silhouette, lovely. Or cryothermic, cryotherm, cryothermic, Cryo cryothermal, Cry mm, not sure. Cry cryogenic, okay. We've now got a box, which hopefully will be... Whoa, goodness me. <laughs> James, watch where you put your feet.